We went to Georgia's choir concert one time, four hours long, just to set the scene. Four hours of choir. Yeah. Wow. And, and Leanne doesn't even sit in the room. She sits in the back and sells baked goods with her friends and chit chats for four hours. <laughs> Meanwhile, I and I have to sit in the front row for four hours. She's having a blast. I and I are getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours in this choir concert, choir teacher comes out and lets us know they're auctioning off the use of the school snow machine to the highest bidder. Opening bid's $50, and I feel Isla shaking like a junkie next to me. <laughs> I go, what's wrong with you? And she goes, feed us. <laughs> we need that snow machine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're getting that fucking snow machine. <laughs> She's like, should I go out and ask mom? I'm like, oh, fuck that bitch. She's what? not here. <laughs> I'm a parent also, Isla, I can make decisions too. She's like, do we have $50? I go, baby, without your mom in the room? Yeah. We have stupid fucking money. <laughs> Watch and learn, I'm about to drop a big dick on this room. <laughs> I stand up in the front row, teacher gets excited. Do I hear an opening bit of $50? I said, honey, let's cut out the riffraff. Make it 500. <laughs> room goes crazy, I sit down, Isla's shaking back and forth. Oh. I go, what's wrong with you? She goes, you just dropped a big dick on that roof, Dad! Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Laughter dies out. I hear one dad in the back still laughing. I'm like, shit, we got a problem. I was like, what is it? And I said, there's another alcoholic dad in here looking for some action. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night, baby. Yeah. Dude in the back just stands up quick. 5.50. What? Whole room does that. Oh. Oh. Except for my daughter who punches me in the leg and goes, stand up and be a man. Oh. Tell him 600, dad. I said, no, baby, that's not how we're gonna play it. Oh. Now's when we hit him with the razzle dazzle. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she, she goes, What's that? I said, You stand up, you say 600, then turn around and wink at him. <laughs> now she's turned into a baby walrus. <laughs> she goes, I can do that? I go, If you don't do it, you're sleeping outside tonight. <laughs> this is what a thousand parents saw a fifth grader in the front row stand up. Now, in all fairness, I didn't know she was nervous. I also didn't know the kid couldn't fucking wink, okay? Oh. <laughs> Who the fuck can't wink? <laughs> she turns around, trembling, finds her guy, goes, $600, and then proceeds to have a seizure <laughs> trying to ink out a wink, just... <laughs> Sits down, she goes, how did I do, Dad? I go, you just dropped a big dick on that room, I. <laughs> Old boy in the back is losing his fucking mind. He stands up, he goes, baby girl, $700. Ooh. I'm like, whoa, you coming after my daughter, bro? <laughs> I stand up, stare him down, I go, $800. Isla stands up, $900. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're bidding against me, you fucking moron. <laughs> She's ear to ear. Hit him with the razzle dazzle, dad. <laughs> we won that snow machine for $1,800. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, got, I got in trouble. I did. My behavior was questionable. I can't tell if it's, I can't tell if it's me or the fact that I live in LA. Like, I think if I lived here, I'd be like a pretty normal dad. <laughs> Dare I say progressive. <laughs> but in LA, I'm, I'm a, a pro problem. I'll t I'm gonna okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story, but do not insert your politics into it, okay? Just listen to the story. Enjoy the story for what it is. Okay. 
end of Isla's fifth grade year, they throw a dance. They taught all the kids the foxtrot in fifth grade, wow. right? As parents, we sit in the auditorium, we watch the kids do the foxtrot on stage, go out, milk and cookies, 8.30 in the morning, call it a day, boom. We show up at 8 o'clock, kids aren't on stage, kids are in the auditorium, teacher's off to the side, she's crying, parents are irate. It's a shit show. Oh. Pull us outside as the parents, teacher addresses the parents. I, all I can do is apologize. What I've done is horrific, and if you will allow me the opportunity to keep my job, I will do better. In the back, I'm like, someone fucked a kid. <laughs> I'm starting to loosen up to go high-five a fifth grader. <laughs> and she says, two weeks ago, in preparing for this dance, I assumed your children's gender, and I paired them up boy-girl. Now, I understand what an egregious error I have made, and if you give me an opportunity, I will show you I'm not the monster you think I am. Now, hold on, I wanna say this real quick, just so we're clear. I want every child in this world to feel 100% awesome 100% of the time, and I'll do whatever I can to make that happen. That is how I feel. But it's, it's fifth grade, right? Like, <laughs> it's eight in the morning, we're hungover, let's wrap it up. <laughs> I think we're done, right? Cool, forgiven. First parent stands up. She goes, hi, my name is Jennifer, pronouns she, her. I'm like, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well. She goes, our household are strong allies. We have family members in the community and I want you to know that I can hear that apology, but it is shallow. Actions speak louder than words. So if you do keep your job, you should do better. And she sits down. Now, I don't know if you know how this works, but the next parent has to out-liberal the first parent. <laughs> you, you can't just be like, eh, because then you look like Alex Jones. Frogs are gay! Woo! <laughs> and it goes around the horn. They light this bitch up left and right. And the teacher, God bless her, she's taking her on the chin. Until it gets to me and Leanne, I'm like, I'll take this. Leanne's like, please don't. <laughs> I said, hi, my name's Bert. I'm Isla's uh, parent. <laughs> I said, first off, it's fifth grade. No one's finger fucking in the back of a jet at a night. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning. Everyone's listening now, right? <laughs> I said, as Isla's parent, it goes without saying that I do not care if my child dances with a boy or dances with a girl. I will do everything in my power to love her and support her. Yeah. As long as it's white. Now, <laughs> how do you knock over the fucking joke? It's right there. It's right. It's eight in the morning. They didn't see it coming. Yeah. The pronoun parents lost their fucking shit. Ah! Leanne hops up. He's a comedian. He's a comedian. They're like, listen to her accent. They're racist. Dude, 